How's it going everyone? It's Liam Carson here and we are doing a special reaction because this is the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. Um, I know this came out a month ago. Um, I didn't have the opportunity to react to it. Uh, and I, uh, so I thought I would, you know, save a slot for Christmas week because is the season so i hope everyone is going to have a fantastic christmas and a fantastic 2023 and yeah i am really really excited to check this out because uh, i know i've heard um a lot of people have um praised this and i'm sure it's going to be something that is much needed before guardians of the galaxy 3 where i'm expecting that movie to be disparate uh, well a third movie in the in a uh, marvel trilogy um is is used usually full of pain and despair isn't it so i'm expecting guardians of the galaxy 3 to be no different whatsoever but no um i'm sure this is going to be a, a, a blast and a great uh inclusion for the festive season so i'm excited to check this out so with that said let's get into the holiday special of guardians of the galaxy let's go oh we're feeling festive folks Wait. Wait, what? Oh, too nice. Awesome. What in the fires of all guards y'all think you doing? Hey, Captain. We're just Hey, no. you ever heard of Christmas? Oh, Christmas tree. Hey, Christmas. It's really, really sad though for Pete and Craglin, and I guess. That's how Yondu ruined Christmas forever. That is so out nice. on the third planet closest to the sun. There's a special celebration, and it sounds quite fun. A jolly nice, old nice fellow voice. brings toys to everyone on a holiday they call Christmas. That's perfect. Good. That's Be nice. Good now I'm not gonna oh. lie, it oh, makes more. no <laughs> sense to me. But here's what I've discovered. Plans for man's demise. No! Soon the elves will all rise up and stab out Santa's eyes. This... <laughs> this is a, a, a take um, on Santa. I don't know what Christmas is, but... The one only you know. That you ate the entire bowl of Zargnuts in the commissary? <laughs> that your cruel sister? Let's just tell people the truth. Peter's father, our father, killed his mother and tried to kill him, make him happy. Well, we could give him those Zarg nuts. <laughs> ate them all. Get off the <laughs> Holy sh! <laughs> what kind of present? Something special he will never forget. What about some? Oh no, no, no! Oh, okay. What? Over the years, Quill has talked about one person more than- You put the cloaking device on like you said you did, right? Yes. Ah. The people- <laughs> I can plainly see that you just did it right now in front of me. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Oops. No, I didn't. To be fair, the amount of invasions Earth has had- it. So? Well, good you could imagine they're like, not again. People wear <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I'm sorry, Gobot killed his cousin. I'll rip your head off. Oh my god. <laughs> the poor guy. Bacon being here. Oh my goodness. I, I, I don't know where my money is. Give it to me for free. Oh my no, no. Give me all your money. Mad. Move faster. Mad. Oh my. <laughs> Wait, did. Was that Cena? <laughs> Drax's best friend. Because he can't see him. I meant after I was ready. I wasn't even done talking. Toss you over the gate. Don't toss you over the gate. Make up your mind. <sighs> oh, no. Super jump. 
See, that's how you do the super jump. Superhero landing. Put down my elf and my candy cane and go. <laughs> what a sentence. I'm calling the police right now. Oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> You're coming with us. That's a Christmas present. Is the police are listening to this? Oh my. There's two. I don't know what they are. People. Do you love Peter and want to save Christmas? Or do you want a little funny man? <laughs> this is not a difficult decision. Oh. <laughs> a little Both? funny man. Oh my god. Sleep. Jeez, they're just leveling these cops. Well, how am I supposed to know the rules if no one tells me? It's a mood. A man? No. Of course not. My friend is being an idiot. <laughs> this is this is chaos. I love it. Drax and Mantis as the Do like TV go. Oh no. Hey, where are we going? <laughs> First, there. He's an actor. He's never actually saved anyone. But actors are repugnant. <laughs> <laughs> They make me feel gross and creepy when they pretend to be someone else. Oh no. Oh my Acting goodness. is a wonderful profession. I mean, you don't get to live just one life. You get to live so oh, many lives. And we got exactly. the worst gift ever. A disgusting act. You're a phony! This is It is a whole suggestion they have all during now. Kidnapping Kevin Bacon isn't wholesome. <laughs> a human being as a present. What better gift for the guy who has everything than an actual human <laughs> living person? This isn't a Christmas gift. This is this kidnapping. Is trafficking. <laughs> it was mostly Drax's idea. <laughs> it was. Hey Pete, I gotta stick up for these guys because, to tell you the truth, I am totally stoked about the whole thing, man. <laughs> he knows this is all fine. hours on him, didn't you? Calm down. We're not gonna hurt you. That's yeah. Record. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> Craglin, prepare the Bowie for his transport back to Earth. I kept. Mr. Bacon, I am so sorry. Oh. This is really embarrassing. I know you're worried sick, and your family is too. We're gonna get you back home. I approve. Oh, suddenly you thought it was a bad idea all along. <laughs> the the, the, I literally the head shake from Groot. Hoping you'd bring the joy of Christmas back into his heart is all. Put him on a bit of the up in general as well, like, especially him. Whoa. Sad about Gamora. How, How are we... on earth do you get reception? Yeah. Uh... A couple of good satellite dishes out front will get you anything within about 400 million light years. Wait, is this... Oh, it's a Game Boy! Oh my goodness! No way! Bucky's arm? Holy sh! Man, you... He finally got it! <laughs> you let that sing. You're doing great, sweetie. Way! Bye, Kevin Bacon. Bye, Kevin Bacon. Bye, Kevin Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Kevin Bacon. Hey, I'll see you at Easter. Oh! Wow. I guess all actors aren't complete pieces of shit. 
<laughs> oh, I love Nebula. Oh. My heart. No. No way. You want to so sweet. Wait, so does that make you my sister? Mantis. That's the greatest Christmas gift I could ever get. Oh, oh, just attack my heart. Oh, I'm glad God do quick throw. It makes sense, though, given his relationship with Peter. Um, why he would ultimately accept uh, accept Peter's gift? So, yeah, um, I don't know if there's I, uh, there might be a post credit scene, but that was really, really, really great, and um. Yeah, it was it was really really nuts. Like especially in regards to um Mantis and Drax's partnership. Um a couple of chaotic characters. Just just so so great, but I really really loved that. It, it was really nice and uh very fun to go through. So, yeah. But um uh, post credit Christmas again. You now can't. You gotta have another special. <laughs> I'm down for that. I'm down for that. Although, given how you know Guardians of the Galaxy Three might pan out, ugh, that's stereotyping, though. You, like you know, putting Groot as a bloody Christmas tree. That's come on, come on. Oh no, that was fun. That was. Oh, that was a blast. Um, yeah, I think I did um, hear rumbling, so it might have been a bit of a spoiler, but I did hear rumblings about the relationship between um, Mantis and Pia. So, yeah, but um, I think it was um, really, really impactful seeing that emotion being displayed um, from, you know, Pia saying how... Oh, him having Mantis as a sister was the best Christmas present, so, yeah. But it was just, like, there is a, there is some kind of, like, um, like, it doesn't, um, completely, um, invalidate Peter's emotions in this, because uh, he's, well, I, I'd like to imagine that, um, you know, with what Yondu did, and now he's no longer here, um, there is kind of like that hole in, in his heart, like in general as well, because of the fact that Gamora, yeah. So, um, yeah, it, it, it just really hurts reflecting on the fact that, um, he doesn't have Gamora, he doesn't have Yondu, um, and there is just that kind of loneliness in the sense. So, yeah, but, I think what works best as well is the fact that um, uh, he he does have his family, um, his guardians. So, and I really loved, um, you know, even though that we got Mantis and um, Drax focused on in this uh, in this episode, um, it was still nice seeing all of the characters have like their moments. Really, so yeah. I'm just happy for 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 Bl bloody rocket. His it, it, it full circle. Talk about a full circle moment with um with Bucky's arm. So I need to see how that happened though. Although I feel like some things are just better left to the imagination of the viewer. So um poor 
poor Bucky. Yeah, that was really, really great. Um, it was, it was an episode that had great bouts of comedy. Um, that wholesome atmosphere especially the final five minutes that was really really emotional um and you know got my eyes leaking a bit um, especially with the impact of yondu coming around and, um giving peter his iconic guns um but also um mantis um just revealing to peter that she is related to him um See, I don't think that's been um, established before in um, uh, MCU law, um, and I say that because uh, I did see a, a tweet about um, the. Uh, I think it was the revelation of um, you know the um, relationship uh, relationship of uh, Peter and Mantis, but um, either way, I didn't think it negated anything in terms of the impact that um of of what transpired in this episode because i think that was um i think that was a very very wholesome bit where um peter um i think you know there is that honesty when he says this is the best present i could have asked for especially with the fact that you know he still has family out there now and um not just that though with the fact that um you had that animated bit with Yondu and um, the fact that he's no longer here and Gamora's um, not there, but in a different sense, of course. Um, there is kind of like this um, cloud over Peter's head. And getting that bit of information, I mean, he loves the, the Guardian so much anyways, but getting that affirmation that you still have um, someone um, related to you, um, uh, yeah, it, it, it's, and, and not just that though, but Mantis as well, like with the fact that she is very, um, like empathetic and, um, one of the most wholesome members, it, it really does brighten your world, doesn't it? Um, and it's very impactful. Like I said, he values the Guardians anyway. They're his family anyways. Um, in the same vein that, um, you know, with Yondu, he wasn't actually, um, Peter's father, but he may as well have been. He was more father than ego was. So um, in the same way that, um, well, Mantis was already family in Peter's eyes anyways. And um, with that affirmation that um, they are, I guess, biologically related, it, it, it really does, um, you know, brighten your life a bit. So, yeah. Um, and, and like I said, those like final uh, five minutes was just was just emotional. It really um, started to dampen the eyes a bit because uh, it wasn't just that revelation, but what Yondu did. And I'm glad that he came around. Um, I, I had a feeling he would um, because um, I was just thinking about, of course, the iconic last line he said to Peter before he died in the second Guardians movie. Um, and, you know, how, the, uh, how that moment at the end really um adds to um how much of a father yondu was even if he wasn't yeah so yeah it was really really great stuff um i just really no i just really really um loved how this episode transpired like even if the focus was on mantis and drax which were just really great pommet and um dave really killed it as um the chaotic um, duo that was Man uh, Mantis and Drex. Um, I really did love uh, the fact that we still got a bit of um, coverage on everyone else on the Guardians. Like even Nebula stealing Bucky's arm, which was which was just gold to me. Um, yeah, I I like I do want to know how that happened, but I think some things are best left to the imagination. So yeah. Um, and even the, like, sculptures that um, uh, Groot created, of course, um, which were replicating, you know, the events of what happened in this episode. So I really, really like that there. So, yeah, but I, I just really, really thought that this was a pretty, pretty um, fun ep Like, this was pretty, pretty fun. I think it had um, the perfect blend of, you know, okay, we're going to have some chaotic uh, shenanigans, especially with Mantis and Drax, so it's definitely going to be good, and I hope to see a bit of that in the third Guardians movie. Um, but there was also that emotion um, that um, 
very, very, I guess, nostalgic vibe when it comes to, uh, I guess, a holiday special. You want something that can be very, very um, nice to put on to, you know, um, in, to, to have yourself um, enjoying something in the spirit of Christmas, but also something that is very, very beautiful as well at the same time, like what we had, especially in those final five minutes. So, yeah, but I just cannot get over the chaos that was Drax and Mantis, like, especially when you had, like, not just the whole affair of, of, um, taking Kevin Bacon, but, um, just, just their vibe in general, like, um, against the, like, especially against the police, um, officers, like, they were just, um, firing, um, at, well, more so at Drax, um, and it didn't even phase Drax whatsoever, so, um, and then of course you've got, uh, Mantis, who is just putting people to sleep, and she's very apologetic, and whatever, and the police are breaking it, and it is very, very scary, given her abilities, given how, um, like, especially on a, like, if you're facing off against your, like, police officers, or whatever, the, um, like her abilities are just very very insane um so like how she's just able to just leap about and you know bonk people to sleep i guess so yeah um <laughs> it's yeah and, and what i really really loved was um of course drax forgetting to put the cloaking shields up um you had those people reacting as well and again going back to the kind of scary atmosphere there is like it, it i feel like um the the fear that was um uh, that was on some people when the ship appeared um is valid considering how like especially in the past decade um i guess within the mcu how many times has earth been invaded by something from the stars it's like oh like to be fair there is either two moods I could get in terms of um, seeing an alien ship in the sky. <clears throat> it's um, um, fear, and it's like, shit, here we go again. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, but I just, I just really, really loved this. It was, it was just pretty great. Um, even like how uh, Kevin was intertwined in this and, and, um, how he um was to the um well to mantis and drax that was just really great especially when they found out well he didn't actually do those things in the movies that was just him playing a character etc and uh, there is just that offensive atmosphere when it comes to um an actor it's like um it's 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 a sin for them so oh man um and I also really loved Cosmo as well. Um, like, I really, really um, thought that she was wholesome, especially her interactions with, with Rocket. So, yeah. But, um, no, this was this was nice. There was, a, there was quite a bit of, um, like I said, what you would want to have, I guess, especially for Guardians-focused um, holiday special. There is a lot of chaoticness. There is a lot of um, laughs to be had. But there is also that heartwarming atmosphere, and I just really, really loved it. So I really enjoyed this, and uh, this was this this was a treat. So yeah, uh, but yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction, and I hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas. Check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!